Leonardo da Vinci's painting, Lady with an Ermine, was created in the High Renaissance period of art from 1489 to 1490. Painted at 16 years old, Cecilia Gallerani was one of the most well-known of the many mistresses of Ludovico Sforza, who was the Duke of Milan, Italy. She was very intelligent and said to be fluent in Latin and also a talented musician. The Italian painter is also known for his works such as the Mona Lisa, The Last Supper, and the Vitruvian Man. This map displays the 1939 invasion of Poland and the boundary lines between Germany and the USSR occupation of East Poland. The German invasion of Poland led to many artworks being stolen so Hitler could further his idea of spreading German culture and getting rid of everything that opposes it. The Decree of the Führer is a document from Hitler to Alfred Rosenberg, authorizing him to search anywhere necessary for culturally relevant material or items in possession of Jews. Painted on a walnut wood panel and primed with a layer of white gesso and brown underpaint, Leonardo da Vinci wanted to execute this portrait as well as possible. The original background was bluish gray and repainted black. Cecilia's portrait shows da Vinci's talent for precise and accurate painting. The little hairs on the ermine can be seen along with the sharp accuracy exhibited in Cecilia's hands and nails. The painting had been moved during the course of the 1800s. Princess Czartoryski rescued it from the invading Russian army in 1830, then sent it to Dresden and once again to the Czartoryski family in exile in Paris, France, before finally bringing it back to Krakow, Poland in 1882. The painting did not always look the way that it was when Hans and Hitler adored it. The first version was a simple portrait of Cecilia with no animal. Da Vinci's second change was to include a small gray ermine. In its final stage, the animal was transformed into a large white ermine. The changes reflect Da Vinci's artistic style of changing his mind often and not settling with the first draft of a work that he creates. The black color of Cecilia's necklace is said to be a potential reference to the power that Ludovico had in the city of Milan. Da Vinci's choice to use oil paint reflects the modern style that the painting held in their time period. Oil paint was only introduced to Italy a few decades before Cecilia's portrait. Purchased in 1798 by Prince Adam Jerzy Czartoryski of Poland, it remained in his family's collection. Nazis stole the painting and moved it to the Kaiser Frederick Museum in Berlin, now called the Bode Museum. Hans Frank, the governor general of Poland, took such a liking to the painting that he got it moved to Krakow so he can hang it in his offices. Both Hitler and Hans Frank embody the Nazi theme of taking artwork for one's own pleasure, not for the cultural value and benefit of the masses it could hold. During this time, the Monuments Men were established to work fervently to retrieve stolen artworks while also protecting and preserving art for the good of mankind. On December 29, 1943, the Allied Commander-in-Chief, General Dwight D. Eisenhower, sent out a document stating that officers in the locations of historical monuments must respect the monuments so far as war allows. He knows that the lives of men are more important than a famous building, but only under military necessity will monuments be destroyed not to be changed for military convenience or personal convenience, but these works of immense cultural inheritance needed to be upheld. Cecilia's portrait was moved again, but this time to Hans Frank's house in the Bavarian countryside. It is unknown who moved it or how it got there, but it is likely that Frank was aware of the move. Allied troops found Frank's house in the Bavarian countryside and the painting was there. The painting was displayed at the Wawel Castle in Old Town Krakow and also the Czartoryski Museum, named after the original purchasing family of Cecilia's portrait. Over time, she had become an icon of Polish culture. The painting now stays at the Czartoryski where it is guarded and permanently on display. This painting of a young girl is important to the world because it tells of the perseverance of man to protect and honor artwork for the growth and knowledge of cultural history of its people and to never forget the iconic life of Cecilia Gallerani, 
a woman whose portrait is now one of the most revered and respected works by artist Leonardo da Vinci.